The clock is ticking seemingly fast for India's maximum city, Mumbai. Climate scientists predict that the city will be consumed by the mighty waters of the Arabian Sea in just a few hundred years. With its 19 million residents, Mumbai has grown exponentially from what was once a random grouping of seven islands up until the mid-1800s, reclaimed to form the metropolis it is today. The city's first inhabitants were the Kolis, traditional fishermen who have lived off the bounty of the sea for generations. Today, they are at the front line, facing the fury of the rising and unrelenting Arabian Sea, which surrounds the city on three sides. In just the last 10 years, some fishing villages in Mumbai have seen coastal erosion of a monumental 18 meters. But luckily, the region is gifted with a robust protective barrier along many parts of its coastline, the mangroves. Mangroves are coastal forests situated between the ocean and the landmass, which reduce the intensity of the crashing waves by acting as a buffer. They also act like sponges by soaking up excess water to prevent inland flooding and by releasing tiny droplets into the air to regulate the city's temperature. Mumbai's mangroves, however, are in grave danger. As he meanders through the northeastern mangrove belt in the city, 46-year-old artisan fisherman Kamlakar Pawar is worried about the future of the place he calls home. His catch decreases in quantity every day, clearly revealing that the mangroves are not in good health. Like Pawar, Vinaya Kohli, an artisan fisherman in the western mangrove belt in Mumbai, has to wade through a toxic mixture of raw sewage, solid waste and industrial effluents to catch his fish for the day. Many parts of Mumbai's mangroves have succumbed to indiscriminate pollution. About 40% have been wiped out over the last few decades. But that's not all. The illegal constructions which happen, people repair their houses, they demolish walls, structures, reconstruction, debris is come brought in and dumped in the mangroves. Another thing is that the government themselves are one of the biggest threats to mangroves because they have set up three humongous dumping grounds in the creeks of Thane, inside the mangroves, inside dense mangroves and the leachate from there is going into the mangroves and, and degrading this system if you, if, which used to be a place uh, where you could come for fresh air, now you can barely stand here because of the leachate which is coming out of these dumping grounds into the creek. More than a hundred cases of mangrove destruction, both on government and private land, were reported in Mumbai in 2018. The government has now hired additional security personnel, some equipped with pellet guns, to patrol these coastal forests against encroachers and tree hackers. Without a doubt, Mumbai stands little chance against rising sea levels if its mangroves are no more. But for a few fishing communities that have been facing the brunt of this mindless destruction, waiting for external agents to offer help is not a good enough option. The quaint village of Bhandup sitting cosy between tall high-rises in Mumbai's northeastern corner, is home to at least 2,000 Kolis, 
the city's indigenous fishermen tightly holding on to their traditional customs. For generations, they've caught fish in the large ponds of water filtered by the area's expansive mangroves that line the eastern coastline. Purvi fishing amala vadlanja barba jaya chao, me pandra sola varsha jasta na. Tiawela amala vadlani mani net kashi fekai chi, me paniya madhi net kashi fekai chi ti shikau li. Tiawela tiawela ji machi amala mela chi vadlanja barba jata na. Manje khup pramanat machi hoti. Na atta jha manje ya tis pastis varsha madhi, atta ami da toh, ta amala jau jau kamit kami tiin chaat taas lakta. Tiawela madhi amala pota purti, jem tem pota purti, ek शंबर दोन से रुपयापर्यंत सेलिंगला होते और बाकी जी आम्मी जीवनापुरती फिफ्टी एट इयर ओल्ड अनिल वेती हु ट्राइज टू ईक आउट लिविंग फ्रॉम द मीजली अमाउंट ऑफ फिश ही ब्रिंग्स बैक आफ्टर अ होल डे ऑफ फिशिंग नोज हिज लाइवलीहूड इज इन जेपडी मेनी फिश स्पीशीज अवेलेबल इन अबंडन्स अर्लियर आर नेवर टू बी सीन इन दीज वॉटर्स टूडे The mangroves in Vaiti's backyard have traditionally acted as nurseries, providing food and shelter for several marine species, including crabs, prawns, mullet, snappers, and groupers. These are coastal forests where the leaves dry and fall into the soil. The soil is uh, basically silt and clay soil. There, it starts decomposing. The crabs take away the leaves and the other crustaceans, or uh, just start nibbling away at, at it and create it as to make it into a nutrient or. Decompose it further so that it becomes nutrient for the soil. The mangroves are the kitchen of the oceans. This is where the food is prepared and circulated across the continent, across the uh, globe, across the oceans. A steady cycle of fishing and breeding for generations has made these waters fertile over time. But a process of degeneration is well on its way because of unchecked pollution and illegal land grabbing. Nandakumar Pawar walks through the narrow lanes of Bhandup fishing village every day with a sense of gratitude. In 2005, when rains ravaged the city of Mumbai, and killed over a thousand people his village escaped the fury of the deluge this was an eye opener he realized it was the mangroves that had protected them he started a grassroots movement with the neighborhood fishermen to save and protect more than a thousand hectares of lush mangrove cover surrounding his village every fisherman is a volunteer we are 50 odd volunteers working around the clock from airole to washi and uh, we don't wait for the forest department to come in to help we help ourselves we take our action on our own we stop any kind of encroachment uh, degradation of mangroves police sarke pasun aplya apan outer boundaries safe karun ghetto jene karun apli ji community hai koli ani agri community ti safe houn jay tanchi ghar safe hoti nand kumar now a full time activist grew the movement to form the shri ekvira pratishthan a community organization to restore the mangroves to their former glory Volunteer fishermen sieve out and clean the incessant flow of solid waste on a daily basis. They organize awareness drives in the local community to help families understand the importance of mangroves to their lives. Local fishermen who go out to fish keep constant vigil and alert the organization in case they notice illegal encroachments. Right now we are at the same structure we are standing. These structures were constructed by the our own community. Uh, I would say the powerful member of my community. Here we had handful structures from this line to uh, towards that end. So these people are basically indulge into bird hunting in this pond. These people used to hunt flamingos, and that was the local delicacy used to eat all all villagers. and we many times convince them the bird hunting should be stop the poaching must be stop this is our heritage and people will come as a tourist to watch birds not to hunt them so i convince them but they didn't uh, being villagers they didn't bother about what i'm saying i repeatedly requesting them 
don't do this don't do this but these people are not going to listen to me so finally i went to the court i went to the honorable high court and file affidavit against the illegality that is happening you need to stop it immediately and all these structures demolished with the help of forest department in 2009 and this entire area is safe now The mangroves Nandakumar and his community protect are part of the ecosystem that occupies only 0.1% of the earth's surface. That's how scarce they are. The state of Maharashtra, which Mumbai is a part of, is the only state in India to have a mangrove cell dedicated to their conservation. The cell relies on participatory models like Sri Ekavira Pratishthan to save the city's mangrove cover. The contribution of Bhandup fishing village may seem minuscule today especially to many of us who may have been oblivious to the role mangroves have played in protecting a vulnerable city like Mumbai but it's because of the initiative of fishing communities who are at the front line of the ocean swell that the rest of the city may have a chance to brave rising sea levels in the years to come <laughs>